Let's take a look at the time flankers went up against fulcrums. The Su-27 flanker and MiG-29 fulcrum were both late Soviet-era designs intended to serve and fight alongside each other versus NATO aircraft in a Third World War which thankfully never happened. However, at the end of the 20th century, these two aircraft would find each other on opposite sides of a conflict over Eastern Africa. Before we get into the details of those battles, let's take a quick look at each aircraft. The Sukhoi Su-27 Flanker is a twin-engine, super-maneuverable air superiority fighter intended to be a direct competitor to the United States' fourth-generation F-14 Tomcat and F-15 Eagle. Entering service in 1985, the Flanker's initial mission was to provide long-range air defense against NATO bombers such as the B-52, flying fighter escort for Soviet heavy bombers such as the Tu-95 Bear, and general air superiority. Continuous upgrades have kept the Su-27 at the leading edge of Russian air power, and today's versions can perform virtually all area warfare operations. A testament to the Su-27's success are all the variants it has spawned. For example, the two-seat deep interdiction Su-30, the navalized Su-33 Flanker D, the Su-34 Fullback which is a two-seat side-by-side fighter bomber, the Su-35 Flanker E improved air superiority multi-role fighter, and the thrust vectoring technology demonstrator, the Su-37 Terminator. Next, let's take a look at some key specifications for the export version of the flanker, the Su-27 SK. Engines. Each Saturn ALF engine produces 75.22 kilonewtons of thrust dry or 122.6 kilonewtons of thrust with afterburner. Maximum speed. Mach 2.35 at altitude. Range. 1,190 nautical miles at altitude. Armament. The Su-27 is armed with an internal 30mm GSH-30-1 autocannon. Additionally, 10 external hardpoints have a capacity of up to 4,430 kilograms. Loadouts can include the short-range heat-seeking R-73 or NATO reporting name AA-11 Archer missile, the medium-range R-27 or AA-10 Alamo series of air-to-air -air missiles, along with a wide range of air-to-ground rockets and bombs. Next, we will take a look at the aircraft designed to complement the Su-27. The MiG-29 Fulcrum is a twin-engine, twin-tailed, Soviet-designed aircraft developed as an air superiority fighter and intended as a counterpart to the US F-16 Viper and F-A-18 Hornet. Entering service for the Soviet Union in 1982, the MiG-29 has gone on to be a successful export aircraft operating in the air forces of over 30 nations with over 1,600 examples built. Continuous upgrades to its engines, avionics, and weapon options have kept the MiG-29 current and have allowed it to evolve into a true multi-role fighter. There is even a navalized version known as the MiG-29K or Fulcrum D. The most recent evolution of the MiG-29 is the MiG-35, known as the Fulcrum F, which entered service in 2019. Let's take a look at some key specifications of the MiG-29. Engines. Each RD-33 generates 49.42 kN thrust dry or 81.58 kN of thrust with afterburner. Maximum speed. Mach 2.25 at altitude. Range. 770 nautical miles. Armament. The MiG-29 is armed with an internal 30mm GSH-30-1 autocannon. Additionally, seven external hardpoints with a combined capacity of up to 4,000 kilograms. Loadouts can include the short-range R-60 or R-73 heat-seeking air-to-air missiles, the medium-range R-27 series of air-to-air -air missiles, Additionally, unguided rockets and bombs can also be equipped. Now let's take a look at the conflict. In a post-Cold War world and during the final years of the 20th century, a border dispute in Eastern Africa between Eritrea and Ethiopia turned into a full-blown war. The 
reason, Eritrea had won independence from Ethiopia in 1993 and the border town of Badme was claimed by both nations. In anticipation of an offensive, Eritrea had been steadily building up their military, including purchasing 10 MiG-29 fulcrums from Russia. These fulcrums would be used to secure air superiority during the opening phases of a war with Ethiopia. In 1998, Eritrean troops took the town of Badme by force, setting off the war. On the other side of the conflict, Ethiopia had older and outdated versions of F-5s and MiG-21s, and quickly realized that they could not match up to the Eritrean fulcrums. Not to be outdone, the Ethiopians purchased eight surplus Su-27s from Russia at the end of 1998. On 25 February 1999, Ethiopian Su-27s would shoot down two MiG-29s. The following day, Eritrean MiG-29s would down two Ethiopian MiG-21s. As the war continued, in March of 1999, two more MiG-29s were shot down by Eritrean Su-27s. And in the last flanker versus fulcrum battle of the war, in May of 2000, one more MiG-29 was shot down by an Eritrean flanker. The war concluded in June of 2000, with Ethiopia seizing and holding on to the disputed territory. And now, my friends over at the Grim Reapers will take to the skies in the Su-27, using DCS to recreate a battle in this conflict. Over to you, Cap. Thank you, Talk, and welcome. We are three times Ethiopian Su-27 flankers, myself, RC, and Loblo. We've just heard that the border town of Bardmi has been attacked by the Eritreans. We know they have fighter bombers over the town now. We're going to intercept. LB, take the lead, please. Taxi. Okay, run them up. Brakes, brakes, now. Rotate. Yep. Out of gate. Thank you, right. Three, two, one. In the bank. On the pool. Okay, so cap and I'll break off left. RC will break off right here. Roger. And uh, we'll go for that bracket. Roger, I'll be when we sort of meet the peak of the mountains, we're expecting them to be after that. Yep. Bracket in three, two, one, go. Cap's going nose wall. Look for targets. Have a radar. Yeah, I'm, uh, I've got nails. That's actually my uh, seven o'clock, eight o'clock. Must be you, Cap. Yeah, that's me. Uh, let's say low here. We'll pop up into them. Yes, sir. I've got uh, nails coming in from two o'clock now. Uh, so we, uh, that's going to be them. That's the, yeah, the town's over there. Got Let's come right. Cap. Roger, fire yeah, will I see. Right. Yeah, I got my radar. I got my radar. Cap is locked up. Going nice and low now. 
visual one o'clock from me in, yeah. Yep, got him locked. Okay, I'm gonna take a long range pop at him. Box one. Spike. I think you've got him RC by the looks of it. Well done. That's a good uh, good hit on that box. I'm coming in. Okay. Defend, RC, defend. Yep. Oh shit, they're on your six. Why did that? Right. Okay, I'm on him, RC. Box two. Oh, I've done. Souls away. Sugar, which ones do you put players out? I'll see you put players out. I got yep. Box two. Okay, that is a hostile. That's going in guns. Splash. Okay, I'm mad, uh, but I've lost a tally of them. A couple of guys have died up there. Big, uh, fox I'm, suit. I'm not going left. Okay, but that might be me, I'm flaring now. Yes, you got him, you got him. Splash, Shoot. nice. Anyone else? One more. Well, okay. You're over the top of the cap. Yeah, I'm, I'm going. I'm... Roger. Free flare. Flare's out. Flare's out. I'm extending zero through zero. I'll go opposite. Keep an eye on your six. Fox suit. Ah, oh, I got no eyes on this fight. Splash. Hey, well done. Right, well done, guy. Oh, he was right here. I didn't realise I was merged. What a douche. Well done, guys. And that didn't go at all like I think it would, according to the plan. But you know what? That is four MiG 29s down for the loss of one Ethiopian flanker. I think we can live with that, guys. Anything you want to add before we sign off? I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you later.